World War II Wendell and it's something a bit different today. Where are we Uncle Ian? We're in the pub. We're in the pub, we're in Leicester City Town Centre, although we've dropped a bit of a clangor. Look at the time there on the telly. It's 8.46am. And what time do they start serving Ian? Nine. They don't serve till nine. And we've got to be in BBC Radio Leicester. Just about 20 metres in that direction. At nine o'clock. So it's no beer before the interview. No. Right, let's make our way over there, see what we're doing. Here we are then, we've arrived at the home of the BBC in Leicester. Yes. Uncle Ian admiring it. Yeah, look at that, look at that. DAB. 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 <laughs> Beautiful part of town, very historic. There's the old high cross over there. Yum, yum. Wigston's house and World War II Wendell. In we go then. Come on, Uncle Ian, lead the way. So here we go. Let's go and sign in. Erasure and a little respect. It's BBC Radio Less, so it's 12 minutes past nine. Uh, song to make you smile coming out for you before half past nine. Mid morning mixtape, of course, after ten. Uh, three great bits of music, ten minutes. Uh, the only deal is we'll pick great music. You have to dance around the kitchen table or go for a brisk walk or something like that. And we'll do that for you a bit later on. Now, kids and video games. Um, Look, they can re- they they can, they can get addicted, and and it's interesting that there's been some some news in the papers over the week about uh, a youngster. I think he's like twelve years old, who's the first person to be kind of officially, if you like, diagnosed with addiction to video games. Or so spending the days indoors in front of a screen instead of being out and about. It's not great, is it? Well, with things like YouTube as well, uh, you, well, they can make their own videos about being on the games consoles. My youngest, who's twelve has started to do that. So filming himself on a game and then, well, I just, I, I don't get it, but then, you know, I'm a dad and what do I know about things? Well, when their brother-in-law's James and Ian noticed their nephew Callum was spending too much time on his Xbox and making YouTube videos about it, they decided to take matters into their own hands. That's when uh, WW2 Wendell was launched. James and Ian join us in the studio. Good morning to you both. Good Hello. morning. Nice to be here. So I just want you to, pay, to paint me the picture at which point you, you got, you sort of got a bit grumpy with Callum and said, get off, get off that thing. What, what happened? Christmas holidays last year, um, he was basically spending far too much time in his bedroom. We were around the mother-in-law's, Ian's mum and dad's house. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we said, come on, let's get outside. Let's go and see what's happening around Leicestershire. And how did he take that? He was quite oh, enthusiastic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very enthusiastic, in fact. It, it, it seemed like a, a bit of breath of fresh air for him. And it's sometimes I wonder if it's if it's relatives you know if I said to Felix get off your game would say he's actually getting a lot better at it but there was a point at which oh just one more game just one more game just one more game if one of his uncles or aunts says that he's off like that that's right I think maybe uh, the parents it could seem a bit you know as a chore whereas if your uncle's not it's a bit more fun isn't it yeah it is so listen what did you what did you get set off to do just really, the idea was teach him a little bit about the local surroundings, a bit of history. We're all passionate about history in the family yeah. anyway, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Rail- railways as well. Railways like is Ian's speciality, yeah. so uh, <laughs> I like military history, things like that. So the first video was basically go and find an old RF base in uh, North Leicestershire, mm. and we showed him a few of the sites around it. And you, the way you do this is quite professional, isn't it? And you, the, the, the three of you on it, he's just kind of a, a willing helper. Um, but just give me an idea of the success of it, because it, you know we're not talking about something that's been shared amongst family and watched half a dozen times. This is huge. It's taken off. It really has taken off. Um, one of our videos recently went viral on Facebook. That's been watched by 24 million people. <laughs> um, we've got over 16,000 YouTube subscribers. Four and a half million channel views on the YouTube. Two Chains, the rapper, he recently shared one of our videos on his Facebook account to his 19 million followers. So it's uh, it's going quite well. Look, those kind of figures are just enormous, aren't they? And, and in fact, of course, when you start to get up there, you start to earn something from it too, don't you? You do. You don't so much get anything from the Facebook, but the YouTube, um, roughly it equates to if you've had a thousand views, 
you get about a pound from advertising revenue. Right. So, and it just factors up from there. Exactly. Um, look, where's where's the passion for history come from? Because that's the point. That's the sort of backbone to all of this, isn't it? You've only got to look outside here yeah. in the studio now. You've got uh, Wigston's house over there. You've got the Guild Hall behind us, um, the High Cross. We're, we're all grown up in Leicester. This is exactly what we've grown up with. And how do you carve it up between the two of you? As in... As in who does what? Who does what? Oh, we've got we've got defined roles. Ian's the eye candy. He's the pretty yep. boy on yep. the screen, <laughs> as you can <laughs> see. Yeah. Um, I'm the mouthpiece. Yeah, as you can probably tell on this interview. Yeah, <laughs> Ian's very, it's been very demure, demure in the background. But when you know when this all when James said to you, "Should we do this?" What was your reaction to it all? Oh, I loved it. I like working outdoors. You know, so it was. Yeah, I mean, sorry to interrupt. Right. But, um, is we, like this is this is home? this is the stuff that we've been doing anyway. The only difference is we're filming it now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, growing yeah. up, we've always messed around playing in the woods and mm. clowning around, yeah. as Ian says, at the old steam railways. We've always uh, messed around around there. So the only difference is now we're doing it in front of a camera and people are watching it. And what does Callum make of it all? He loves it. The ladies <laughs> are flocking <laughs> yeah. around him. A 14-year-old boy being watched by 20-odd million people. He absolutely yeah. loves it. <laughs> and is he still on his computer? Not so much. Is it? But which is the point, isn't it? I, there's no problem with them being on it from time to time. So, well, you know, and even if it's quite a lot, so long as there's something else that's a counterpoint to it, yeah. you know, like actual fresh air and actual sunshine. He admitted a few weeks ago he's learning so much as well. Yeah. He's learning. Yeah. And look, the, the, what's, what's nice about this is these, these are, and there is a responsibility in this when you write and, and produce these, that you get the stuff right. I mean, even the History Channel are, I think they've, they've approached you and there's, a, there's talks undergoing. So you... You know, when you start to do this, because people will use it as a resource, and it's got to be right. We do a lot of research, um, lots and lots and lots of research. Old publications, uh, the internet's obviously brilliant these days for looking things up. But also, we speak to people a lot. Mm. Old family members, they know a lot about Leicestershire. If you walk around as well in the town now, there's information boards everywhere. Yeah. You, you can learn something within five minutes of walking out of this building now. So if people want to go into YouTube and have a look at these things, so how do they find them? Right, basically, if you just type in WW2 Wendell, W-E-N-D-A-L, you'll find us on there. Uh, we've got about 60 videos. Yep. 60 videos. How often do you make them, then? We try and get a video uploaded every Friday. So really? if you check back with the channel every Friday, um, you'll see one pop up almost every week. And this is a... I mean, I know that this is a passion for you, and I know why it, why it kind of happened, and it was sort of obviously a spur-of-the-moment thing, but in the fullness of time, you'd like to build this into something that's a career. As we said, we've, as you've just mentioned, we've been approached by um, a producer from the History Channel already. So, yeah, we'd appeal. Any producers out there, get in touch. You've got more to, Wendell. <laughs> <And this> is, <laughs> thanks for that. And um, what, what is it about, I mean, the, the presentation style and stuff? Is it... Is it you, you know, we, we, we know that uh, Horrible Histories and stuff were, were brilliant with the kids because it was factually correct, it delved into some quite tough bits of history, but with a light touch, a fun touch, which I think is the way to do history. So how, what, how would your presentation style equate to that? I love Horrible Histories. You, you've, mm. as, a, as a grown-up, even before our children, I used to watch Horrible Histories. Um, our style, then, it's banter. Yeah. Almost what you'd, you'd call pub banter. Yeah. Um, lots of humour. Yeah. Do you script it? I do a little two to five minute intro at the start of every video that is scripted because obviously that explains all the things. Mm. And I work slightly off script, as in I freestyle a little bit, as I'm sure you do. Mm. Um, radio presenters are bound to have what they want to say. But from then on, no, it's it's what occurs between us and the inter interaction between us. Yeah. I love it. Listen, the best of luck, guys. So, uh, WW2 Wendell, W E N D A L, on YouTube, and uh, join the 24 odd million other people that have been looking at these things. That's, That's right. That's huge, isn't it? It's, it's astounding. It's it amazing. is. It is. Yeah. Have you been recognised yet? Yeah, in yes. fact, we, no. we, we were asked for our first autograph yesterday. I love it. Where? <laughs> Uh, it, it was by our Facebook page again, World War Two Wendell. But uh, yeah, I was recognised on the bus coming here today. I was recognised at my little boy's nursery earlier this week. Yeah, I was recognised at my kid's school. Really? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's terrific. I love it. 
Uh, well, listen, uh, next time, obviously, you come in, you'll have a, a group of people with you, and your people will have to speak to my people, and it'll all be, you know, it'll be a nightmare. <laughs> oh, listen, doubt, the, best of, the best of luck. Uh, I just think anybody that brings history to life gets a big thumbs up, and, and particularly, I love the way that you've sort of done this by, by pulling Callum off his computer game. I think that's terrific. Thanks ever so much for coming in and joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, it's 20 minutes past nine. So, the World War II Wendell boys at the BBC. Here's Uncle Ian. Hello. Looking smart. And there's him on the green microphone. James. Hello there. On the blue microphone. And here's the main man, BBC presenter Ben Jackson. Hello, Ben. Hi. Thanks for very much for having us on. Enjoyed it. Right then, Ian. Weather spoons. Yes. Yes. Over we go. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, we'd love to. Yeah. So, yep. yeah, let us know. Thank yeah. you so much. We'll be back. Cheers. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks very right, much. I'll thank if you, you head down, Rachel, see you yep. on the other nice side. Nice one. Right. Perfect. Cheers. Yeah, see you soon. On Clean with his first radio interview. Awesome. Visitor. For the lady. I think that went quite well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What one of them? We need to get to normal. Yeah. I think we should just hang around here, Russ. Yeah. It's a lift race. The one next door's coming down. Are we going to win? World War II, Wendell, we're always winners. Yeah. I'm riding. Mad pulling, isn't it? I've just been invited back already. Yeah. We've got to get these back in, so we've got to sign out. We won. Cheers. <laughs> No, nah, you have to give them back. You have to give that to somebody else in a bit. I was on an Sorry. Are you signed out? Yep. Cheers, Thanks a lot. Right. See you again. See ya. There we go then. World War II Wendell at the BBC. Next stop, Weatherspoons. Yeah. <laughs> you went the wrong way. No, it's that way. You have to push the one with the handle. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you should have gone round again. Yeah. Here we are then, World War II Wendell, BBC stars, as seen on the BBC. And look where we are, it's Weatherspoons. it's half past nine in the morning, it's beer o'clock. Yeah. Let's have a beer and a breakfast, Ian. Do you know? It's, it's, tw it's, so it's 9.40 in the morning, <laughs> World War II Wendell, <laughs> chin chin. Here we are, I think we're about the only ones in here drinking. This is the High Cross in Leicester. Near oh no. Just drinking. some dude round there, yeah, good man. Drinking. Near BBC Radio Leicester. World War II Wendell, fresh from the success of our uh, BBC. Visit to the BBC. Visit to the BBC. Invited in we were, we've been invited back already. Hello. What did you think of that producer? Very well, friendly, very friendly weren't yeah. you? Yeah, very friendly. Candy. Uncle Ian, the eye candy, he's just been uh, responding to all his messages, he still is. I can be. We think that went very well. Yeah. Very well World War II Wendell, like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube. Yeah. Ian, plug the Facebook. Check us out everywhere. Me plug Facebook. <laughs> check us out on BBC. Yeah, check us out on BBC. <laughs> Hold on. We said Callum weren't here. <laughs> Callum, plug the Facebook. Callum, plug the fake. He's quiet today, isn't he? <laughs> What'd you say? He's got a sour face. He's got a sour face. He's got a sour face. Full stop. That That's because he come in, couldn't come in the studio. Look at that. Weatherspoons. I like the way they produce, promote history. Weatherspoons, get in touch. We could uh, do your little videos, yeah. promotional videos on our uh, YouTube channel. Plenty of beer. Right, we're going to do that. Tim Weatherspoon, we like you. Get in touch. Here's Ian now, he's on his third pint. Well Ian, over there at the BBC we f smashed it. Oh, we didn't swear over there. No, we didn't swear once, did we? No, no shotguns, no bangs. We were live as well, weren't we? Yeah. I hope he had his finger on the dump button ready yeah. to get rid of it. <laughs> World War II Wendell. As seen on the BBC radio. Now serving pizza.
<laughs> beef would, beef would take the lot. Here then, you're looking at the aftermath of a World War II Wendell breakfast. Empty beer glasses. James's plate, annihilated. Uncle Ian's plate. What's that, Ian? Have you not cleared your plate? No, tomato. I had tomato sauce. Not the same, it's not the same. Bad man rid of Right, we're off to do a recce on a future video. World War II Wendell, like and subscribe. Thanks for viewing. Ben Jackson, you the man. See you next time.